In the year 2039, new developments in virtual reality could give connecting with someone you fancy a whole new meaning. Facebook already hosts a show called Virtually Dating, where couples strap on headsets and virtually spend time in exotic locations. Imagine if you could go on a date without the commitment of having to actually be there in person. A 21st century romance? or just another way to bash into the furniture of your ridiculously small housing pod before you take off your headset only to remember, there's no one there? Alternatively, maybe your VR date will go so well, you'll question why you need a real-life partner in the first place. A company in Japan is already offering men the chance to marry their favourite anime characters. Will you be professing your lifelong commitment to a 3D hologram in a virtual chapel? If you're a woman, the answer may well be no. Even though research shows that people are more likely to open up to a machine than a person, it also shows that women are less likely to try virtual reality than men. A company's recent solution? Turn the headsets pink. It didn't solve the problem. If by 2039, VR is more widespread, could connecting to your partner, emotionally or physically, simply mean digging out your VR toolkit and plugging one of a number of, uh, um, devices into a USB port? Or does the very thought of this make you want to split up? Or throw up? <laughs> if looking the one you love in the eye is more your thing, you might prefer glasses that use face analyzing algorithms to scientifically reveal when someone finds you attractive, a way to make dating less time-consuming, or a virtual slap in the face when you discover that everyone you're pretty much definitely sure fancies you doesn't. Digital technology is often criticised for increasing loneliness, as people turn more to their screens for support rather than each other. However, by 2039, we could be using dating apps to connect with a multitude of people in a variety of new, non-romantic ways. Will finding a partner to settle down with be something your parents used to do? Either way, with nightclubs across the UK closing down and fewer young people drinking alcohol, it seems like the days of see you at the bar and having one too many of what was it again? Only to wake up with who are you? are probably numbered. So if we're still going on real dates with real people, we'll probably need new venues. For example, a trampoline park. <clears throat> According to a recent report, there's been an overwhelming rise in trampolining. Imagine if this was where you're meeting a hot and very sweaty date in 2039. New kinds of immersive cinema experiences, such as 4D or 5D, might also pave the way for virtual reality films, which would make the cinema the perfect place for a date in 2039, with friends, partners or anyone in between, just like it's always been.